indirect addressing mode is also used for external RAM memory. Now for ex indirect addressing mode of external ROM, RAM, we can interface external RAM from 0000H to FFFFH that is 64 kilobyte maximum 64 kilobyte of external RAM memory can be interfaced to a microcontroller. So to address this external RAM memory, we have to use instruction. Only this instruction we can use for external RAM that is move X. X indicates external RAM memory and the format of instruction only two types of instructions can be used. Accumulator can be used as a destination and at RP. The RP means R0 or R1 resistor can be used as a pointer resistor to external RAM. So here destination is accumulator. So we can say that this instruction is used to read data from external RAM. that is read data from external RAM memory pointed by resistor RP that is R0 or R1 and store that data in accumulator. Similarly, we can use move X instruction to write a data at external RAM memory using this instruction. So here contents of accumulator will be stored at external RAM memory whose address is in RP. So it is for write data external RAM memory so using this instructions you can read or write a data to external RAM memory now along with this since this address of external RAM is 16 bit so we can use DPTR resistor also as a pointer. That means we can use instructions like this move X at DPTR to read a data accumulator. So contents of accumulator will be stored at memory location, external RAM memory whose address is stored in DPTR. So in DPTR we can store 16 bit address. Similarly, we can read a data from external RAM memory using DPTR as a pointer. So here address of memory stored in DPTR, we are reading data from this address and stored in an accumulator. So four types of instructions only can be used for external RAM. One is using pointer R0 or R1 register as a pointer, read a data and write a data. So when in external RAM address is of 8 bit, you can use R0 or R1 as a pointer if address is of 8 bit. So we can use R0 or R1 as a pointer. If address is of 16 bit, then we can use DPTR resistor or for 8 bit and 16 bit address you can use DPTR resistor. We will take an example to understand this instruction in detail. Now suppose this is external RAM memory whose address starts from 0000H. Somewhere here you may get address 100. 0H. Here address is FFFFH and one more memory location I will consider here, here with address 24H. 
so this 24h address can be written as 0024h to store in dptr register now i want to read a data from external ram memory this is external ram memory and i want to store it in accumulator suppose a5h is stored at this memory location i want to read it and store it in accumulator so for this memory location i can use r0 r1 or dptr as a pointer register suppose i want to use r0 as a pointer register first instruction should be initialize r0 with this address of external ram 24h so this is simple instruction r0 is in the internal ram memory so i am using move instruction only because r0 is part of internal ram for internal ram we are using instruction mov so this data is stored in r0 now we want to read a data from external ram so we will use mnemonics move x and we want to read a data so that will be stored in accumulator here you can use at r0 now instead of r0 so you can use dptr also for that move dptr since dptr is 16 bit you have to mention here 16 bit data so this address 0024h is stored in dptr dptr is part of internal ram so we have used only mov now to read a data from external ram use movx accumulator at dptr so after execution of both of this instruction in accumulator you will get a5h here also in accumulator we will get a5h so in this way we can use this instruction but you cannot store 16 bit address in register r0 or r1 that means you cannot store 1000h address or data in register r0 so in this case you have to use dptr register only so only remember that this is move x instruction and for external ram and you can use only indirect addressing mode for external ram only indirect addressing no other instruction can be used to read a data or write a data to external ram so only these four instructions are available related to external ram read a data from external ram and write a data to external ram you can use three register as a pointer register r0 r1 or dptr register generally if address of external ram is 8 bit use r0 or r1 register if it is of 16 bit then use dptr register so we can use this indirect addressing mode 